What's up guys? So it's kind of a rainy Saturday morning here in South Florida, as you can see. Um, but nonetheless, I'm pretty excited. We are on our way to G Exhaust. We are going to get Catalyst downpipes installed on my S-Class. Um, and then we're gonna go to MTech Performance, drop in some uh, either the B BMC or KNN air filters and retune the car. So it'll be full stage two uh, the car should make more horsepower to all four wheels as well as a lot more torque but really the coolest thing about doing the catalyst downpipes is since i already have the resonator delete uh, the catalyst downpipes really just allow the engine to breathe a lot better and there'll be a lot more turbo whistle these aren't really loud cars look kind of like my old naturally aspirated s63 was with the 6.2 liter v8 um, these cars are really just kind of quieted down with their because they're smaller displacement and they have the turbochargers. However, when you really open up their exhaust, you get a lot of turbo whistle. There's no drone or anything. There's no uh, weird smell, um, but it should be cool. So I'll see you guys at G Exhaust. Okay, so I just got the G Exhaust. Um, waiting for a few other cars to get done first. This is the owner's E63S outside. Gorgeous design of diamond white metallic, just like my dad's C63S Cabriolet over there. Got my uh, S-Class here, Sabrina. Just letting her cool down from the drive over here. Then uh, once a, a lift opens up, we're gonna get her inside and uh, start the install on the Catalyst downpipes. So uh, stay tuned. So the owner of G Exhaust just got a GT House Meister Shaft exhaust installed on his AMG E63S. It's like a $7,000 exhaust system. So we're gonna get a startup and some revs real quick right here. Here we go. So that's closed. That's the valves closed. Now let's hear it with the open. Dude, that sounds awesome. That's Holy savvy. crap. Bad, right? the soon. Oh, that's awesome. So that's just the exhaust system. The car doesn't even have the downpipes yet. It doesn't have, it's gonna go stage two with the tune and everything. That's so cool. All right, so this Hellcat just got exhaust system done. Sounds great. Now we're gonna pull my car in. Start the uh, install on the Catalyst downpipes. Perfect. Oh, that sounds great. Do a little video over there. Oh, he saw the mask in the seat? <laughs> yeah, that's for the HOV lane. All right, she's on the lift. She's going up in the air. All right, so underneath my car, cutting the cats out. As you can see, they're very huge, and I can't believe the probably a lot of restriction they cause. One of them's actually already damaged from when my front drive shaft basically destroyed itself and took out a chunk of the bell housing, you guys can see, but 
Luckily, it didn't do any more damage. Thank God, man. And uh, this thing is going to wake up. It's already got a resonated elite. It's got yeah, it over yeah. here. Yeah, it's really nice. Cold, I'm gonna get a video of the cold start tomorrow, and then Monday it's going to M Tech to get the stage two tune and filters. Oh, so. Oh, so, so you have stage one already? The, yeah. Nice. It's already got a decent tune, but it'll be full stage two Monday, and uh, should sound pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna let these guys get back to work. Once again, thank you to G Exhaust, Hollywood, Florida. Awesome shop for all your exhaust needs. Headers, downpipes, cat delete, stuff like that. They just did that Hellcat earlier. It sounds amazing. Of course, this is the owner's E63S. It has that full Meister shaft exhaust system from GT House that you heard before. The downpipes are in. We're going to start it up. Well guys, that sounds really good. I can't wait to hear what a cold start's gonna sound like. Uh, can't thank the guys at G-Exhaust enough. And uh, like I said, Monday, we're gonna go to M-Tech Performance, get the uh, air filters put in, and the stage two tune, and the car will now be officially a full stage two. So, it'll be pretty cool. Even better, it's just been raining nonstop. Dirty, clean, and it still looks up. <laughs> now we're pulling her outside, we'll get a better sound clip. It really does sound like a S63 with muffler delete. I mean, it's awesome. Take the muffler out. You delete the muffler and put a muffler. Oh, it'll probably pop like crazy. She's a big girl. Sounds so good. You got all the turbo noises. That sounds great, man. That sounds so good. Thank That's you so much, man. I appreciate the word, brother. Those wheels, though. I doubt it is. Those wheels, you gotta hook me up. Oh, yeah, specialty four wheels, man. Amazing. The detail, man. And they're three, they're three piece, but you have like the floating That's end amazing, spoke here. That is I so mean, mean, they're man. dirty now, but when they're clean, they yeah, just. Yeah, like, I've seen them on your story, man. All right, so right now we're going to take the five cars over here, E63S, C63S, AMG GT, Williams G550, and my S550. Do a little picture over here. Look at this big parking lot's good enough. Definitely going to avoid this crazy looking Maxima thing, whatever that is. All right, so we're doing a little Mercedes-Benz photo shoot here. We have G550, my dad's C63S Cabriolet, my S550, the G-Exhaust E63S, and then the Tint Boss AMG GT with the aero pack. So it's got the different front bumper for the aero, and it has the fixed wing back here, part of the aero package. And of course, you hear the exhaust on this thing. All right, we got a 2017 S63 Coupe. What's up, dude? Well, I'll be good to see you. Okay. Small world. <laughs> Small world. You know that guy? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
All right, so we were waiting on a uh, S63 uh, sedan. That coupe showed up over there, but there's a sedan getting an oil change over there to add to our Mercedes-Benz chute. But it uh, looks like it's starting to rain a little bit. Weather's turning. So uh, we're going to head home, and I'll be sure to get you guys some startup and rev clips later with my new downpipes. And uh, then I'll see you at M-Tech on Monday. What's up, guys? So it's Monday. We're going to head over to M-Tech Performance to see my friend, the owner, Moose. He is going to uh, take Sabrina's ECU out, get it ready for her stage two tune. Uh, we're gonna drop in some new filters and uh, along with the Catless downpipes, that should complete the stage two package. So the car will be full stage two. Um, and then if possible, we'll see if he can throw it on the dyno. If not today, then another day this week or just another time. Nonetheless, should be pretty cool and interesting to see uh, how the power of the car will compare with the stage two to the current uh, stage one tune with the Catalyst downpipes that it has. It is not currently tuned for the downpipes, so even though it does feel a little faster, it's just because there's less restriction due to the uh, cats being gone. But with the stage two tune, it'll actually take advantage of all that free flowing exhaust that's coming out of the turbos now. So I'll see you guys at M-Tech. All right, we just got to M-Tech Performance in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're gonna get the car inside uh, let it cool down for a little bit because ECU is going to be extremely hot. So uh, once we let the car cool down, get the ECU off, uh, then we'll start the tuning process. All right, so right now I'm inside MTAC Performance here in Fort Lauderdale. We've got Drew here. He has the ECU out of my car. He's just getting ready to uh, put all the pins in, hook it up to the uh, program for the tuning software. Yes, today we are putting in a stage two on Merkman's car, Robbie. Thanks for coming in today. and. Right now, just, you know, selecting to read the ECU for his Mercedes S550. And um, I will say it's a little process, but definitely will get the horsepower a lot more and the torques to the wheels. All right, so the file is written into the ECU. Drew's just popping it back on there. So on this engine, which is the M278, the 4.7 liter bi-turbo V8, ECU sits right on top of the engine, where I believe on the like M177s, the four liters, the hot V's, it like sits kind of on the side, right? So I just put the ECU plug in it back in, and it just kind of mounts right on top of the engine there. That's why it gets so hot, we had to wait a couple hours for it to cool down. And it's at least 105 degrees out today, it's brutal. But uh, then we're gonna drop in the filters, and then hopefully we'll be able to take it for a drive pretty soon. It should be fun. So we're getting ready to pull the car inside. Gonna install the uh, drop-in air filters. All right, so Drew's getting ready to drop in the K&N air filters. Car's gonna breathe a lot better. Maybe, maybe even make a couple more horsepower, so. It's always good when the car is breathing better. This is the intake, the, I guess the box right there, and the filters inside this housing. It's pretty cool. So that's the OEM air filter. Doesn't exactly look dirty, but oh, yeah, it does. Oh, nice, you got like what, a bird's nest in there? So it's safe to say the car is gonna be happy with these new K&N intakes for air filters. The actual intake of these, uh, this kind of like metal tubing here, but the filters or the housings, the boxes here, let's go up here and then it kind of feeds down into the intakes there. It's just gonna clean out the housings. All right, so we've got the new high flow air filters from K&N, complete with stickers and all that. They look way nicer than the OEM filters. That's pretty much what everybody does with these cars, even if they don't do stage two, right? They exactly. put in the filters. Put in a filter, a more suction to the engine. Should get some induction noises too, between the turbos and that. Actually, it sounds like a diesel truck now when I started in my neighborhood this morning. <laughs> All right, so the first filter's in. 
The housing's all clean. Everything's so tightly fit in there. It's amazing. These engines, it's so much going on in one pretty small package. I mean, it's 4.7 liters, not that big. And now, they're, of course, the newer ones are 4 liters. And the 4 liter version of the facelift of my car will be the M176, right? Correct. It's the non AMG variant. So, this being the M278, that's kind of like the non AMG version of the M157. Pretty much the same looking engine. So they just bolt right back in. Now we're gonna do the same to the other side, put the K and N filter in here. Got another S550 up on the lift over there. It's in for uh, service. As you can see, it looks uh, pretty much the same spec as my car, but between the, I have the wheels, the Specialty Forge three-piece wheels, custom painted calipers, I have the lowering links for the air suspension, all my trim is blacked out. Kind of goes from a grandpa spec to a younger person, I guess you could say. And now, now the sound and performance of the car will match the looks. Cleaning out the housing there. All right, the second filter's in. car is going to be breathing a whole lot better now. Just have those last few clamps to tighten and then the uh, car officially has this new k and high flow air filters. I guess that means the car is officially stage two. It's officially stage two. It's official guys. Well you know when it's official is when you put the last piece. There we go. like that stage two s550 now uh, we're gonna get it started up and uh, take it out on the street do some testing so uh, stay tuned all right we're bringing her outside That sounds awesome. Don't worry, we're gonna get a little launch video in a little bit. Drew's just taking around the block to uh, make sure everything goes smoothly and then it's driving uh, properly, no engine lights or anything like that. But the downpipes, filters, K and N high flow filters, and the stage two tune are all in the car. So the car is officially a stage two. So pretty cool. So we'll wait till Drew comes back and then we'll get a little launch video and some startup and uh, revs. Should be cool.
Wow guys, so you just heard what the car sounds like on the outside with a startup and rev and a little launch down the street. Uh, this is what it sounds like on the inside. Here's with the uh, windows down. That just sounds amazing. I cannot thank the guys at G Exhaust enough for doing the Catalyst downpipes. And of course the guys at M-Tech Performance for doing the drop-in high flow air filters from K&N, as well as this amazing custom stage two tune. Um, haven't actually driven the car yet. I'm gonna do that right now on my way home. I'm gonna get some nice footage, but um, I'm really excited and uh, can't wait to get more videos with my new setup.
All right, guys. Well, that should be the end of this video. Uh, once again, thank you to G Exhaust and M Tech Performance for uh, making my car uh, full stage two. Love the way it drives. Love the way it sounds. Uh, there is no drone or any kind of smell inside the car, and I really couldn't be happier. Let's take one more listen to that. Yeah, so that is awesome. See you next time, guys.